All right, we are going to make something called division quilts. And these are a really nice way to visualize division. And what does division look like? And we're going to start with 26 divided by 3 and make a division quilt for this. Now, the first thing I need to do is make a shape that has 26 boxes in it. And I could do it a few different ways. Uh, for example, 25 is a square number, so I can make 5 by 5, 25, and then just add one more box like that. That would work. If I wanted a rectangle, the only way to make a, make a rectangle with 26 would be 13 by 2. So my shape could look like this, or like this, or there's lots of other ways you can make it. But basically, make a shape with 26 in it first. And then we're going to divide it into groups of three. And you'll want some colored pencils to do this on your paper, but groups of three in different colors. Like here's a start. And I actually only have four colors, so I had to repeat it. Um, but you can see I made eight groups, and then I have some leftovers, and what you, is remaining, you just number that in your division quilt. So 26 divided by 3 gave me uh, 8 groups, and I had a remainder of 2, as you can see, my 8 groups, and the 2 that are remaining. And I could have done this other one the same way, just making groups of 3. I'm not going to do this one too. But again, the shape doesn't matter as long as you divide it evenly. And next up I have 31 divided by 4. And 31 is even trickier because this is a prime number, so I can't actually put it into a rectangle unless I were to make uh, a rectangle of 1 by 31. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 is 30, and I'm just going to add one more extra box to it there. So now I have, uh, this would be 30 here and 31, and I'm putting this one in groups of 4. And uh, you can just do whatever patterns you want. That's why it's like a quilt. But putting it into groups of four, you'll fill it in. And it looks to me like I have seven groups of four, and then I have three left over. So the answer is uh, 31 divided by four is seven with the remainder of three and you can write your, write your remainder either like this or like this it means the same thing and we have a couple more examples here 21 divided by 5 and 21 can be put into a rectangle can you think of what rectangle that would be if you said 7 by 3 you would have been right uh, but again doesn't matter you can make any shape you want as long as there are 21 boxes so now into groups of five and you can see here I have four groups with one remaining so that's how I would do that one and then finally one more 8 by 36 36 is pretty friendly here there's lots of ways you could divide 36 into rectangles to make it easier but 36 is also a square number right so if you go 6 by 6 You've got a perfect square, and now you're looking for groups of eight. And there's my quilt, and I have four left over, it looks like. So the answer is going to be four remaining, remainder of four. So those are division quilts, and that's what it will look like. And again, this is just a way to help you visualize what division looks like when you're doing division. So thank you very much. Goodbye.